Ever since our last video on how biodigesters work, a lot has changed and continues to change. In that particular video, we explain about how biodigesters are using a simple on-site treatment technology just to biodegrade human waste. The biodigester or the simple on-site biodegradable toilet waste biodigester we are talking about is not the type that produces gas or methane. The biodigester we are talking about is what the government of Ghana has approved for homeowners including low-income houses that are being done by both the assembly and then local government authorities. These biodigesters are simple safe tanks that only works based on the lack of oxygen that comes into the tank. So the tanks are sealed and there is no space around it and there is no vent on it because then the biodigester simply biodegrades the human solid waste and break it down in such a way that it's easy to dispose of it in the environment. Whether through the soak hole water or the solubles that are broken down or through the organic manure which can be harvested later for whatever use. And this was the byproduct we were getting. A well composed soil that could be used for agricultural purposes. But fast forward to 2020 and coupled with the experience gained and further research on simple on-site biodegradable waste biodigesters, there's a big improvement in the way biodigesters work now. Let me give you an example. According to a research conducted by Isaac Kuonu at the Department of Civil Engineering, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, on the topic assessing the performance of the filtering unit of the biofuel toilet system, he wrote that biodigesters use both micro and macro organisms to break down human waste into safe end products with high reuse potential as compost or soil. And further goes on to say, the sludge is converted to compost and any effluent produced is safe enough to be discharged into the environment. He also explained that the system operates on the principle of aerobic decomposition of organic waste by both micro and macro organisms. So how do biodigesters work? Human solid waste comes at the top of the biodigester and then the flash units which we are going to use flash the feces, flash the solid waste and then it goes to the top of the digester which is the digester bed. There's rapid separation of the wastewater from the solid waste. The filtration system including the porous hold on to the solid waste for the micro and the macro organisms to feed and then break them down. The wastewater goes to the base of the digester and then is piped through a lachate pipe into the soak hole pit. Right? So then the human waste that stays on top of the digester is what the microorganisms feed on. In comparing this to the septic tank which we are all used to, with the septic tank, the water and the human waste are all together. There is no separation. And then the tank holds it for as long as it can. There is a, a soak away for the filtered water to go there. And then the tank holds the solid waste together with the water and the flash unit water as much as it can. When it gets to a point, you will need a truck to show up to the house and come and remove the sludge and the solid waste before it can be used. But that's not the case with biodigesters. With biodigesters, there's a rapid separation. That's why we say there's no need to have a, um, a dislodging again. There's no need to have a truck show up in the house saying that it's coming to remove feces. The good thing about the latest version of biodigesters is that human waste together with the tissue papers are both biodegraded by the new technology that we are using now. Only condoms, pampers and any inorganic materials are the ones that you cannot do away with. So what we do usually, we tell the homeowner who intends to do a biodigester. When you get biodigester done, there must be a periodic maintenance. The periodic maintenance usually depends on your lifestyle and how the users in the house behave. If the users use pampers, diapers, condoms and all those stuff that cannot easily biodegrade, then the, the turnaround time in terms of which the time for the maintenance in which all the bedding has to be removed for a new one to be replaced will be shorter. But if it's only tissue paper and the human solid waste 
a biodigester can last as much as 15 20 years and then it will not be touched so sometimes that's advice we give those who intend on installing biodigesters to also be look out for their lifestyle is key and the way they live their life their toilet habits and how they use their flash units is also important when it comes to biodigesters this is dream house biodigesters if you are new to this channel consider subscribing for videos like this that explains how this biodegradable waste biodigesters work you can also watch some of the videos that we have on this channel now the question has been asked over and over again where does the waste water go there are usually three things that can be done when it comes to how waste water from the biodigester goes the most frequent method of treating toilet waste water is the use of a so-called pit which can be filled with stones and covered with recycled plastic rubber this works best if the soil is good and can soak water when you do a so-called pit and then you cover it with the recycled bin and then the top soil the homeowner can then do his pavement or tiling on it nicely the so-called pit is buried under the earth surface don't forget that this really works because then the biodigester which is about three feet depth is the depth in which you are going to go and then the so cool with the leche part which has to be slanted and sloped to a gradient can then go about two or three feet extra making it five feet for the so cool pit this is what the shape pipe with the waste water will go for it to be floated on the earth surface the other option for treating or for managing the wastewater from biodigesters is to connect the pipe to a wastewater causeway just like a gutter but i've also explained in one of my videos that when it comes to gutters there are two things it can be dropped in the gutter based on how the water is flowing or you might need a permit to test the effluent level and then the water can just be dropped into the gutter the third option which we usually recommend for waterlogged or heavy users is to do a simple normal soak away pit but put a submissive pump on it to pump the water that is the waste water out so what happens is because there's a, it's a waterlogged area and then the digester is being done in such a way that the pipes are up the next best thing to do is to get the soak away done and then the pipe can be connected into it but it means that you might have there must be a way for the water to go if it's a waterlogged area most of the time your best bet is to have the water pumped out periodically or then have a submissive pump on it so that when it gets to a level then you can pop it into a garden or anywhere where you can go safely but the key part for doing the digesters in water area is that when the pipes are up and then you don't bury the digester no matter the situation on the ground when you also flush your flush unit from inside the house the water will come and then it will work best for you this is dream house by digesters if you are new to this channel consider subscribing for videos like this that explains how this biodegradable waste by digesters work subscribe to this channel we are very active on instagram at dream house by digesters our website dreamhouse by digesters.com is also active you can go there and check some of our videos and the type of by digesters that we have for home owners thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye bye